posted, June 27, 2018 6 hours 3 minutes and 57 seconds PM MDT updated, June 27, 2018 6 hours 4 minutes and 23 seconds PM MDT IFU go with Boulder County Parks and Open Space Advisory Committee. When, 6.30 PM. Thursday where, Boulder County Courthouse's third floor hearing room, 1325 Pearl Street, Boulder. Further information, the advisory committee's full meeting agenda, including staff memos for some of the items, can be viewed at tinyearl.com slash ec8pjzw. Boulder County would pay $1.9 million to purchase about 106 acres of dryland and irrigated agricultural lands west of North 75th Street and north of Colo. 66, under a proposed acquisition up for review by the county's Parks and Open Space Advisory Committee on Thursday night. Most of the property at 13,359 N. 75th is vacant, with the exception of an existing house, garage, silo and storage shed on about 1.1 acres of the land on the southeast corner of the parcel, according to Parks and Open Space Department Land Officer Sandy Duff. That house lot would be carved off and retained by the property's current owner, B. Stitzel Investments LLP, although the county would get a conservation easement over that privately owned 1.1 acre area to limit the size of any additions to the current residential structures there. Also on Thursday night, the Parks and Open Space Advisory Committee is to hold a public hearing on the county staff's latest recommendations about where electric-assisted bicycles would be allowed, and where they'd be banned, on Boulder County-controlled regional trails and open space trails in the future. The staff now is recommending allowing Class 1 and Class 2 e-bikes, as a pilot program through 2019, on regional trails and on all trails on the plains where bikes are allowed, with the exception of three trails, the Colton Trail, the Mayhoffer Single Tree Trail, and the Boulder Canyon Trail. As requested by City of Boulder, E-bikes would be allowed on such plains trails where conventional bicycles now are allowed, such as at Legion Park, Pella Crossing, Twin Lakes and the Walden Ponds Wildlife Habitat Area. E-bikes would be prohibited on all foothill and mountain trails. During the pilot program period, the Parks and Open Space Department would conduct targeted studies to monitor e-bike use and evaluate any conflicts with other trail users and people's perceptions of the e-bike activity where it's allowed, according to Tina Nielsen, the department's special projects manager. The department would additionally expand outreach and education about proper bike etiquette, including yielding, passing, and communication, Nielsen wrote the advisory panel. As for the proposed 75th Street open space purchase, Duff said the part of the property the county is proposing to buy has been used for dryland and irrigated farming in the past and would remain in agricultural use for the time being. However, the property also is in the vicinity of several other county open space holdings that include the Ron Stewart Preserve at Rabbit Mountain, which is open to the public, and Duff said that if a future update to the Rabbit Mountain Management Plan identifies the property at North 75th as being appropriate for public use, it may be open to such a public use at a later date. The $1.9 million purchase price would include mineral rights and the property's associated irrigation ditch and water rights. The advisory committee is expected to make recommendations to the Boulder County Commissioners Thursday night about whether to proceed with a 75th Street open space purchase and whether to adopt the latest staff suggestions about locations for allowing and prohibiting e-bikes. Contact staff writer John Fryer at 303-684-5211 or jfryar at times-call.com or twitter.com slash jfryarch.